Hello, this is Clint Locklear from the Farmer's Grove, and I want to talk a little bit about cover crops. Uh, cover crops are something that, I mean, you can use native plants, but I think you get a lot more bang by this. Uh, this is the bottom of my field. We've got a two track next to the fence. You can see uh, over here where we've got, we're growing chestnuts and Siberian pea shrubs and, and all kind of stuff like that. I'm going to be putting some autumn olives in, in between those. But if you see how green and vibrant this is, this isn't a filter on the camera, but you look up at everything else. Now this is almost Thanksgiving. I think it's a couple of days till Thanksgiving. You can see how dead everything is, except for down here where I've got the cool season. I mean, not only is this gonna be building my soul, but it's also gonna put deer meat in my freezer, hopefully tonight. But when you're looking at your cover crops, one of the goals I think that you should have always, always in between any place that there's not a live plant is mulch. Now you can come out here with a pitchfork and bales of hay and round bales and wood chips and do all that stuff that you want to, or you could just grow it and roll it or scythe it. And I, and I, you know, I roll it with telephone poles. I've got a cover crop crimper that's being built this winter that I cannot wait to get my hands on. But by keeping this mat always on the ground, the soil life is always going to be happy and always expanding. If I don't grow enough biomass to put the mat on the ground when I roll it where it stays between, like this was put in in September till now, that, that biomass was alive in September. It'll be gone probably early, probably early March, the, the soil life will get it. And then come about end of May, we'll be rolling this down and putting a new mat down so the sun will never see this soil. I think that's one of the tricks to be able to use covers where you get the maximum effect out of them. So you have to be able to observe your own place because the more fertile your ground is and the more biological life that's in your soil, the more the plant material that they will eat so it's your job as a regenerative agriculture person or a regenerative permaculture person to look at your system and if you see that the mat is leaving before you have complete plant coverage, you need to change your mixtures of your seeds to put more biomass in it, which could be something like sun hemp or Sudan grass or something to give you a lot more biomass than say just peas or beans or something like that. So you have to be able to adjust, but always the way that you can tell you're getting it right, if the mat will last between one lush growing season of cover crops to the next lush growing season of cover crops, because this will be what that is when we go in here next summer and put another crop in. And this is all broadcast, by the way, no tractors, no anything like that. So anybody can do this on any scale, but look at your mat and let the mat tell you if you're growing enough biomass for your system and your biology.